Hi everybody, Free Marketeer. Uh, first off, this is not financial advice, but I'd also like to address the um, the crypto mini crash that happened uh, today and last night, and um, then just some other things that are happening in the economy and with people. I see a lot of stress uh, with people. I think that these times are 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 hard to predict and they're not very stable and so people are becoming less stable stress is really getting to people um i'm just seeing a lot of different actions that i don't really see normally um yesterday i saw a guy on a four-lane highway pull over to a deer that was injured and unload four rounds of a handgun into the middle of a into the deer in in the middle of a four-lane highway at the edge of town, which um, we're in the Midwest, so plenty of people carry guns, but to have somebody get out and um, fire their their firearm in, in the center of a lot of traffic was somewhat disconcerting um, and dangerous. Uh, but I, I see a lot of different things, and I just wanted to say, you know, no matter what's happening, just try to keep a level head, try to understand that things are going to be all right at the end of this. Um, and, and just prepare as much as you can. Um, I also want to address the, the crypto crash. I don't think that there's much to it. I think that, um, there was probably a lot of people deleveraging and these kind of, uh, mini crashes happen often in crypto bull cycles. So, um, I think that it's probably a good opportunity to buy if, if you're looking to, you know, enter the crypto market, um, I would believe that it's it's going to come back pretty soon here. Um, I also see a lot of different things happening in in each each different uh, business, right? And so there's a lot of things that are getting really hard to get a hold of, and it's little things here and there, and it's kind of causing a lot of problems. And I think that has to do with a lot of the money printing and um, the programs that are out there that is just dumping money into the economy and people are starting to stockpile things. People are starting to hold on to things. I think that we're having some pretty major logistics problems. I think that it's getting harder to ship things around the country because there's so much demand for so many different things and it's getting very hard to predict and people are holding on to things. And I think at some point here, it's something's going to break. Right. And I think that they're, they're going to keep pushing this as much as they can. You know, they'll keep pushing liquidity in, and they'll, they'll probably bring up more programs and all these kinds of things because they don't know what else to do. Right. That's their go-to is, is throw money at it and hope it turns out. Okay. And there are so many subtle things that happen, you know, in an economy and centralized governments, they can't, they can't predict all those things, right? It's like chaos math. You you can't swing a pendulum and have it and then predict where it's going to go, but then predict where, you know, like on a double pendulum, where it's going to spin after that because it's going to create so many different just reverberations through the system where, where people are doing different things. You know, not everybody's geared one way. You can't say that if I do this, this will be the outcome because then everybody will, will act accordingly to their best interest. And they're going to pick up on the signals, right? They're, they're having deplenishments of certain, as of certain um, assets and things. And so they're, people are going to bring more and more of those in and it's going to, to drive demand. And that demand might not be there if they don't keep pushing money into the system. And so I think they're going to do that more I because that's that's their playbook. Right. And this is going to push asset prices of all kinds of things up. These things are going to keep going up. And but at some point, at some point, this is going to break. Even if they keep pushing money at it, it is still going to break and it is going to be a problem. And that's when people are going to really act out and have issues because there's a lot of people who aren't preparing. Most people don't understand how to prepare. Most people don't understand what is happening and what's happening to our currency. You know, some people, there's a good portion of people that see inflation, but they don't really understand where that goes. And they don't understand that when this keeps pushing forward, that at some point something breaks. I don't necessarily see it any time in the, the, 
immediate future, but we have to prepare for it, right? I mean, we have to, we have to keep, you know, if you can keep food and water and, you know, precious metals and cryptos and kind of hedge yourself the best you can, have a rounded portfolio for when this thing goes sideways. I even, I even think having some cash on hand because when, when something like this breaks, right? When, when the stock market breaks, all that leverage that these companies are using, these hedge funds and everybody are using, right? It just disappears. I mean, it isn't like it, it gets consolidated or it goes somewhere else or it moves into something else, right? It just is gone. And, and that is incredibly deflationary. Um, so have, have that in mind in case that's, that's in our future. Um, but yeah, so if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please comment down below, especially if you're seeing anything that um, is high stress on people. And uh, again, thank you very much for watching.